didn't know what the first JWall week would be like. Um, you know, it's, uh, we sort of threw out a, a, a lot of invitations to people who we think would, would be interested in the kinds of issues that we're facing and we want to tackle. And we didn't know who we'd get there. And we wound up getting really a great, interesting, diverse set of people that were coming to the table. Um, people from, uh, I think, we didn't get anybody from Antarctica. I think we got people from every other continent. <laughs> um, uh, representing um, agencies, representing teacher colleges, representing um, uh, uh, governments, um, representing uh, school systems, uh, a lot of uh, people who have uh, both desire and, um, and mandates to be able to improve education within their contexts. Uh, I think it made for a really interesting dialogue. Um, we tried to be, uh, we, tr we tried to balance in some ways uh, sharing with people what we have at MIT and what we can do with them, um, but also really um, soliciting a lot of information from them in terms of what they see in their own context. And also, we think it's an important part of JWell is making some cross connections within the community. How do we help people um, not just uh, have a, a single source from us, but really also make connections between themselves? I mean, I think we already saw some of that coming out of the coming out of the first JWell week. The idea of, um, of sort of equity and social justice and providing education for all is a really important part of, of all of JWell. Uh, at the PK-12 level, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's front and center in, in terms of the way we think about working with the organizations we want to work with. Um, it's one of the reasons why we think about our partnerships in a somewhat unique way. Um, the the uh, organizations that are most in need of our help are the ones probably least able to be able to afford, be able to engage with us. And so one of our jobs is to be able to think about how do we find those partnerships, those foundations, um, those other organizations that can help make that, um, that triangle between MIT, the organizations in need, and, and those that can actually um, help support that effort. Uh, so that's one of the things that we try to think about. Um, but it's also, it's also sort of fundamental in the way that we develop our curriculum, and we want to make sure that we're not just serving the, sort of the, those that can, that can afford it, and we want to make sure that uh, we're able to provide that education to everybody who, who desires it, really. Uh, and that's been a, a central tenet, I think even predating what we were doing in JWell, and I think one of the reasons why JWell exists is because we already had a lot of those values and the stuff that we were thinking about at uh, PK-12 and MIT. I think, I think fundamentally the, the backbone of, of JWell is, is, a, is a consortium. It's a, it's a community that we're trying to create. Uh, and, and fundamentally what we're trying to do is, is um, help organizations, but also sort of create a community where people are, are, are helping each other. Um, a lot of cases, uh, we think about um, organizations, each who think that their own problems are unique, and they probably are, but they do share a lot of commonalities with, with other problems that people might be facing in, in other states, countries, um, contexts. Uh, and so, uh, in a lot of cases, I think, I think organizations may say, well, uh, you know, our, 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 our situation is unique, we can't necessarily rely on the, on the help of uh, an organization in another, con another country, another context, um, but we think you know, every, everybody should sort of feel like their um, our door is open, and we're and we're able to engage in that dialogue in terms of um, helping to solve problems. I think the kinds of organizations we're looking to work with are are those that um, sort of are are see the right pathway, um, but don't know how necessarily how to reach that right pathway. Uh, I think I think um, in cases where we have to actually show people the right pathway um, or point them in the right direction to where they should be going. I think that's, that's, a, that's a, a more challenging um, and maybe a next phase of the project. Uh, but in a lot of cases, the people who we're seeing right now are those who say, like, I know where I want to go, I know where I want to get to, I just don't know how to get there. Um, and what we can provide is, um, you know, sort of a consultation around how do you get to those goals, um, depending on the level of partnership, you know, we can be doing special projects with those groups to help them develop materials, develop um, processes, develop teacher training materials. Um, develop technologies to help support those goals, um, and importantly, again, sort of bringing them into the community and helping them make those connections with other um, entities who are also trying to solve those same problems, um, where uh, it may be too much to, to solve on your own, but in in the, when you're part of a community, um, there's ways of working together to help try to solve those, those major problems. G the, the PK-12 part of JWall grew out of an existing um, PK-12 action committee that we had at MIT. And I'm, I'm co-director, I was co-director of that PK-12 Action Committee with my colleague Angie Belcher, who's a world-renowned scientist, um, MacArthur Genius winner uh, in, uh, in material science, cancer research, um, and uh, I think it's been a, a great partnership. In fact, um, we're, the, we're the only level that has a, a dual leadership role, but from my perspective, I'm someone who's, who's been uh, an educator 
now for many, many years at the PK-12 level, I really appreciate sort of that, uh, that perspective of, that, uh, that my colleague Angie Belcher brings to it, um, all, partially because she's really interested in, in young kids, and I think that's a neglected area that we haven't really thought enough about at MIT, um, and it really brings that into the picture. Um, but also, um, she brings such unique perspectives in terms of thinking about um, her, uh, uh, the way that, that she thinks about um, uh, engineering and science research as something that she's deeply engaged in, and I think that's something we want to get all kids excited about.